In this video segment, four students from David Starr Jordan High School of North Long Beach explain why arming teachers and administrators may not be the best answer to reducing violence. These Long Beach High Schoolers joined a growing group of students across the nation who feel that adding security would add to the condition of unsafety in schools. Um, well, the thing about that about teachers is that uh, not all of them know how to shoot a gun. And then, um, I mean, if they're going to have a gun inside the classroom, they have to have it locked up because their students might see it or they want to get it or anything. It's going to be dangerous. And then if somebody goes inside the school and then with a gun or something with some violence, then it's going to take them a, uh, a long time to unlock the, the lock where the gun's at. So I don't think there should be a need for teachers to be armed. So yeah, I disagree with having more guns. Like, kids are going to have more access to it. Like, I don't think that's right. Like, I feel, I don't know, I just don't think that's right. Okay, so do you feel like maybe um, having more guns in school would create more problems than it would solve? Yes, I really do think so. Because cause teachers, like, aren't always on top of their game, and, like, what if a, a student has access to it? Like, it could go all bad. When I hear that they want to put guns in schools, I see other people seeing it as, um, oh, look, they have guns, so I guess if we're going to do something at school, I guess we're going to need guns too, and I... I in my opinion, it would bring more more violence. Like, oh, he's drinking, like, my dad's drinking, so why can't I? Like, kind of that thing, like, oh, my teacher has guns, so why can't I? To protect themselves or whatever. If they have more security, I think the, it would make students feel less safe. I would feel unsafe at school if there was more security. I think what we need is more counselors. Sometimes counselors, they they see it as just a job. Like, they don't actually counsel us. Um, I guess they don't really feel the need to connect with us or, like, find out how we're doing, keep tabs on us, make sure we're doing the right thing, you know, make sure everything's going in school, make sure we're not being bothered by anybody. I think um, if the school could... Um, you know, kind of check up on us. Like, I, I, I know it'd be hard, like, to check up on everybody because there's, like, so many kids in school. But, like, if, like, they notice something or they see something, like, not just ignore it, but, like, kind of see what's going on with it because I noticed that um, a lot of these things happen because of bullying. And if they could, like, like stop the bullying before, I, I think, like, none of this, like, none of the violence in school would be happening. I think there's, uh, there should be a cop in every school. Like we have one here. The police officer in the school is, is actually pretty cool. He goes inside my uh, my third period classroom, and uh, he's he talked to us and then he told us about his life and then um, he's he's actually a pretty cool guy because I mean not all the cops are the same. With him and me and my friends, with the relationship we got with him is pretty cool. Like he helps us out. Like if we help him out, he helps us out. So um, it all goes down to like a like a cause and effect kind of thing. But um. Okay. But if uh, we had like armed armed guys, it will feel like like uh, I, f I would feel like I'm in a war or something, you know. Like I'm trying I'm here. I came to school to study or anything. I don't want nobody like watching me with with like high tech guns or. First one I heard about in Connecticut was it that like it it, it really did um it like it hurt like, but now that I see it, I guess it's it's normal.